that's it down the line. So here we have something new in from Lost. It is the Rad Ripper in the black sheep construction. We actually ordered uh, these boards in or decided to order these boards in um, just because of the overwhelming feedback and requests from customers for this model. Um, the Rad Ripper, I've only heard good things. So many good surfers coming into the shop have sung the praises of this model and of this board. Um, we we decided we had to order them in. So you spoke, we listened. Um, and here they are in the black sheep. So the Rad Ripper essentially is giving you a performance shortboard just with a bit of extra chunk and a bit of extra foam. So they've got this really nice kind of foam distribution and this nice kind of chunk under your chest. Um, what that's gonna give you is something that's gonna paddle well, something that's gonna allow you to generate lots of speed, but then with this kind of little wing and that pulled in tail, it's gonna give you bite performance and hold where you need it as well. Um, the black sheep construction is something really exciting um, from Matt Biolis and Lost, and it has been really well re received also. So it's an epoxy carbon construction and it's going to give you a board that's lighter and gives you a more flex, uh, kind of more pop, more spring in your surfing. So um, <clears throat> really I would say that the Rad Ripper um, especially in the black sheep construction is just going to be perfect for someone that wants that performance board that can excel in kind of slightly weaker surf, slightly kind of subpar conditions as well as hold in when the waves get good too. So really as a go-to board for the UK, this thing is a winner for sure. So on the bottom, we've got a slight V in the, in the nose into a shallow single concave and then into a deeper concave uh, V through the fins and off the tail. That coupled with this kind of more pulled in and kind of harder rail um, in the back third of the board is just gonna allow for tons of hold where you need it, tons of grip through your turns and just really allow you to have something that you can push hard in the pocket um, and out on the open face too. Um, when it comes to fins for the Rad Ripper, I would be thinking just stick with kind of um, whatever fins you, you normally like to surf. I, th I think this board's gonna be really versatile when it comes to fin choice. You can surf it as a thruster, you can surf it as a quad. Um, most of the feedback we've had from customers is thruster setup works really well in this board. Um, personally, I really like the, the look of these new Carissa Moore fins. Um, that would be my choice for this board. But uh, some, some other firm favorites certainly would be the Chloe Andino um, FCS2 fin template, as well as the Matt Biolis uh, Shaper series uh, fin tem template as well. Always remember, you can get your dream custom uh, lost board from us anytime. Head over to our website, have a little look at our board builder. You can play around and customize whatever you want. If you wanted a Rad Ripper, um, you can get one in PU or light speed anytime. Um, the black sheet boards are a little bit harder to get hold of, so grab them whilst you can. They're here on the rack right now. If you've got any questions on the Rad Ripper, feel free to pick up the phone, give us a call at the shop, pop in, get one under your arm, have a look, have a feel, we're always here.